Okay, so what we have now that we have initialized our yellow block texture sprites. We have initialized the images that we want to allocate into memory. And we have done this. However, I forgot and this was a error that I forgot to insert the breaks after each case. So that prevented me when I ran the application from properly executing correctly. Another thing that I did leave, uh, left out from earlier was variables that I had assigned. In this case, these are the variables that I initialize. So total, so double is the type of the variables. Total rendering time is one variable. Rotation is another variable in scale. Then beneath that we have variable type integer, frames, and animate frames. And there's the I. The I is just for a for loop sequence. We go down below to initialize with code function. And we check that everything seems to be all right. And it is. Everything looks great, looks fine. Now we go to draw view. And in draw view, this is where we're going to display or want to display the images that we have allocated into memory. In this case, we had yellow block, anime frames, draw add point, CG point make 160 for the X and 240 for the Y. With rotation, we pass the rotation with scale, scale. The next thing that we do is that we want to make sure that we are incrementing the animate frames to going sequence from 0, 1, 2, 3 where the images are located in our one dimensional array. So we retrieve it. We're going to display at what frame we are in currently. Then we increment that variable by one so anime frames plus equals one and then we checked to see if we have reached the maximum variable that we are looking for so if animated frames equals four we want the animated frame to go back to the first image so it would loop and animate so that is important and we will test this application out. So let's go, build, and go. As we can see in the example, we have successfully animated the sprite. Now, let's put this uh, iPhone simulator aside and let's check our console window by clicking the console icon. As we can see here, that is checking frames. It's checking all the frames one by one. If we stop it, we can go complete. We could go up on the list and see all of the loop function that we have defined. Well, the draw view is a loop is going at 60 frames per second. In this case, it is important to understand the frames per second. For draw view, draw view is going to be called 60 frames per second. So it's going to be called 60 times in one second. However, for our example, and because I use the yellow block, from Super Mario Bros. 3, I have reduced the frame rates 
so it would look the same as it is in the video game. So what I, how I did that is that I went to test application delicate.m and in here I went down where it says void application did become active UI application application GL view that animation interval. So the interval I put it to go 10 frames per one second instead of 60 frames per second. Let's say that we want to change that back to 60 frames per second. And now let's build and go. As we can see, the animation is going extremely fast. And this is not what we want, at least not visually, as I remember in Super Mario Bros. 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop it. iPhone Simulator, quit. And we're going to put it back to 10 frames per second. Going to build and go. Yes to all. And we got exactly the same or similar result to the yellow block that we get in Super Mario Bros. 3. Well, this is concludes this episode number two of Daily Digest. I hope you had fun watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube website channel. Please email me or leave a comment with your questions, concerns, or suggestions to improve these videos. Thank you very much, and God bless.